Hello and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. As you can see here, we are uh, in Stellarium. And one of the things that I wanted to look at, uh, if, if you remember in the last video with the comet, um, we got a newly discovered uh, comet, C2020F8. And I want to get it in it. I want to get it added in here. So we're going to go through that. But also, you can see the version I'm running is 0.18.3. I know that's a little outdated. So I never noticed this before. So we're going to do check updates. And yes, there is a new version. So let's click on that. And 20.0. All right. Uh, let's look at the major changes. And the change log, full list of changes. This thing goes on forever. And they already added that one previously. Okay. Not seeing anything about 2020 F8, but that's okay. So let me get this update installed and uh, we'll be back. All right. We are back. And F1. We are on 2020. All right. So as you can see, it defaulted back to a grassy plain. Nice little farm. And it reminds me of where I grew up. But I need to uh, add in my uh, custom I need to change my custom view and everything, so let me, let me get this back to where I need it to be, and we'll be back in a few seconds. All right, we're back. We got everything back in the way it should be. So, first, let me turn on my points and a few other things real quick. All right, so the first thing I want to do, was it true, was that comet in there, C2019, Y4, and it looks to be over here, so let's fast forward a little bit. And there it is. Okay. Looks like instead of the box, we got a little rotating crosshair. And some of these icons have changed a little bit up here as well. Now, do we have C2020? No, we do not. All right. That's okay. We can add that. Okay, first place we want to go to is the configuration window, which is F2 on Windows. Can scroll down to Solar System Editor and configure. And we're going to want to import. And then we're going to do an online search. We're going to do C slash 2020F8. Swan. I think I said snow in the last episode. So apologies to the Swan team. And we're going to check box. Put a check in that box and add the objects. And. Stellarium crashed on me. All right. Bug, maybe? Let me get this loaded back up. 
All right, we're loaded back up. So let's see here. Did it add it? That's the question. And it did. And there it is. So if we were to fast forward, that's really low in the sky. And it's during the daytime. It's definitely not something I can image right now. Let's go into the nighttime hours. Turn off the ground. And that's a slow mover. But let's see, let's just fast forward and see what happens. Does it ever show up? Does it ever show up and this is really wonky? Ooh. Let's just follow it and see if it uh, ever gets where it's going to be visible at night. It is getting higher in the sky. That's a good thing. But let's uh, keep going. All right. Well, I found that kind of interesting that that comet, these two comets are going to be in the same part of the sky, night sky or daytime sky. Um, yeah, if that was nighttime, that would be an awesome spectacle to see but such is the nature of things so let me keep fast forwarding all right so looks like at least up here in the northern hemisphere it's somewhere August, September time frame, we should start being able to see it in the very, very early morning hours. It's going to be over by Venus. Unfortunately, it's right at dawn, and from my vantage point, I'd have to travel somewhere, but that would actually be quite interesting. Let me go back, turn off the landscape, and with a wide field scope, or just a DSLR with a uh, moderate telephoto lens, you'd be able to get Venus and the comet in one frame. That might be something to shoot for. Um, that's all assuming these preliminary uh, orbit data is correct. So let's, uh, let's fast forward some more and see if it's ever going to be in a spot where I'm going to be able to image in the middle of the night. All right. So it looks like somewhere around October. Towards the end of October of 2020, we might just be able to do something. Um, definitely be keeping an eye on that for this fall. Um, but as you can see here, it's coming from behind my tree line right around... 1.32 o'clock, and I will be able to image it right up until almost dusk. This will be October 23rd, so I would definitely be uh, curious to see how that 
happens. Uh, and while I'm here, let's see. Uh, F3. Ion Nebula. Whoops. Neb. Nebula. Okay, so if I want to image the Orion Nebula, it's going to have to be a mosaic with my setup, but taking out those trees definitely allow me to now hit that target at some point. I'm going to be curious to see if I can do that. Hopefully I can do a smaller mosaic uh, before then uh, to learn that process. But, as far as this video is concerned, um, yeah, we'll put it back on the uh, C2020. All right, so as far as uh, this video is concerned, um, newly discovered uh, comet. Preliminary orbit data has been provided. Clearly, uh, we can add it to Stellarium, which we did. And we were able to uh, get a projected time frame that we might be able to do something. So maybe August time frame, we'll be able to do some wide field and get Venus and the comet together in the pre-dawn hours. And then late October, at least for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, um, should be able to get some good data on the comet if it's still around. Hopefully it doesn't break up like uh, C2019Y4 did, or is. Um, but that will be pretty awesome. So, yeah. Um, uh, so you see, what do we do today? We updated Stellarium, we added the uh, new target, and we got some preliminary planning data. That is excellent. I really like that. So, with that, I'm just going to end this video right here and say thanks for watching. I hope you found this informative. Uh, please stick around for the outro. I know the pandemic's still going on, so please stay, stay safe and healthy out there and do your part to flatten the curve. As always, clear skies, and have a good one. Thanks for watching yet another episode from the Astro Media Journey channel. Really appreciate your viewership. In our upper right, we have the latest video that I have posted prior to this one. Down in the lower right, we have what YouTube thinks you will enjoy. Below is a subscription link. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you so choose, ring that bell if you want to get notified of something new, and as always, thank you, clear skies. Remember to.